Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. I'm going to start with these mailers from the Penguin Random House. It's your pack and slip invoice thingy. Looks like we got some Star Wars, daintily packaged Star Wars. Hyperspace Stories. I don't remember ordering this many copies of this. My goodness. Two, four, six, eight, twelve. Yeah, that was probably a mistake on my part. But maybe not, because this is uh, supposedly a first appearance of... Is it Bad Batch? Um, as a group, I don't know. I don't watch TV shows, so I don't know exactly what that is. But I saw somewhere that that was the case, and it is Star Wars Hyperspace Stories number ten, curiously published by Dark Horse. Well. And I say curiously because, you know, Marvel owns, I mean, Disney owns Marvel and all. So why would, why would someone else publish it? I don't know. Spider Boy, number one, got a little bit of corner damage, nothing too serious. Or is it? No, it looks fine. Spider Boy, number one, this is a shiny foil variant. Cover price says $5.99. I bet it was, uh. Bet the profit margin was horrible, so retailers will charge more when that happens. Spider Boy number one, negative space variant. That's pretty cool. Gotta say. Spider Boy number one, Scotty Young baby variant. Those are entertaining, but I kind of find it hard to believe they're still doing those after all these years. Now it's got like a tradition or something. Um, and Spider Boy number one regular cover with slight corner damage. But let's take a look inside, let's give it the old visual inspection. Cards, uh, not cardstock, cover stock cover, a little thicker than regular cover. Uh, cover price $5.99. And let's take a look inside. There's your creative team. And this is what you have to look forward to in Spider Boy. Number one, I only got four copies, but I got several of the variants because they were cool. Next, mailer. Invoice packing slip thingy. Daintily packaged. Posters. Let's see. Does that say X Men 141 Facsimile Edition poster? Yep, that's what that is. X Men 141 Facsimile Edition poster. That's my poster. Superior Spider Man number one poster. Deadpool 7 Slaughter's number one poster. Amazing Spider-Man number 39 poster. Um, like I said, I'm keeping that uh, Days of Future Past. Always wanted a poster of that. Awesome. It did say facsimile edition, so I hope the cover price is correct. I'm going to check. Now that that's on my mind. Okay, no cover price. Because it's a facsimile. A poster of a facsimile. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Daintily packaged comics from a mailer. She Hulk. Number one. Shiny foil. She Hulk in a bikini. These say four ninety nine. I guarantee you. 
the margins were horrible on that one. So they're going to charge more. They meaning us, meaning comic retailers. Um, I don't know who did this variant. It should be pretty obvious. Oh yeah. Adam Hughes did this Adam Hughes, she Hulk in a bikini, shiny foil variant. Gotta have that. Right. Uh, where'd the scissors go? Here we go. Oh. And interestingly packaged. This was uh we had the one corner unprotected with a piece of paper laying on top. Packing paper. So not only was the corner unprotected, stuff got to move around. There's the culprit. Okay, boxes half full, half empty, depending on whether or not you're optimist or pessimist. And off we go. I don't see any corner damage right away, so that's a good sign. What do we got? The Avengers number seven variant. Really cool looking wrap around the cover. Let's see if we see a signature. What does that say? My eyes are getting bad because I'm getting old, but there's the signature. I don't know what it says. Anyways, there it is. Whoever it is did a great job on that cover. Avengers number seven. Cool variant cover. Um, next. Masters of the Universe, Forge of Destiny, number three. My camera stand is sagging. Yosagi Yojimbo. No, ice and Snow, number two. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's an Avengers number... I'm sorry. That was the last comic. X-Men, number 28. This appears to be a variant, right? Because it's a wraparound... Yeah, variant cover, wrap around. So there's that. Again, not sure who the artist is. Sorry, I should know these things. And it's Jeff. No, sorry. It's upside down. <laughs> Predator versus Wolverine, number one. Let me readjust this real quick. Adjusting. Magneto number four. Got a couple of those. Scarlet Witch number 10. White Widow number one. I got three of those. Let's look inside. Here's your art for White Widow, number one. A lot of ads, and I'm also not zoomed correctly. Let's find a non-ad page. Does that exist? Here's one. That's your art in White Widow number one. Zoom out just a little bit more. Here's White Widow number one, what appears to be an art germ variant, I'm going to guess. Could be wrong about the artist. Good variant, though. Doctor Strange, number nine. That's an Alex Ross cover. That is the regular cover. Obviously Alex Ross. Star Wars, number 40. Part of the Dark Droids story arc. 
Here's regular cover for Avengers number seven. It's a good cover too. I do like the variant better. Ultimate Universe. Is there a number? Well, it's number one. Oh, there it says. Number one. That's where Ultimate there. So they usually put those right on the Ultimate books. That's their style. Here's your art. In Ultimate Universe. Number one. And we have Ultimate X-Men. I mean, not Ultimate, nothing Ultimate here, just X-Men. Number 28, regular cover, X-Men 28. This is a good cover. Venom number 27. I like it. Good cover. And we'll move on to the last box. Not super heavy. Last box from Penguin Random House. Let's see what is inside. Also strangely packaged with the paper on top instead of on the side. You didn't get to see that, but come on, Penguin, get it together. That paper needs to go all the way around the box in order to do its job. Pack and slip. Well. Ralph Mouth. Most of y'all are not old enough to get that reference at this point, sadly. Stranger Things. Number one of four. Stranger Things looks to be Stranger Things The Voyage. So they're making a voyage. Stranger Things. Eh, it's a number one. Let's look inside. I like that art. I gotta say, I've never watched Stranger Things. People say I would really like it. People that know me well say that. And they're probably right. My Little Pony number 18, a regular cover. Here is Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Scorpius, the Scorpius run. Number three. I'm assuming this whole box is IDW, right? Yep. So far. My Little Pony Camp Bigfoot number four. A lot of ponies comics this week. And by a lot, I mean two plus variants. <coughs> Excuse me. My Little Pony number 18. Cover B. Okay, where's my retailer incentive? Okay, here it is. My Little Pony number 18, a Retailer Incentive R.I. And Camp Big Hoof. My Little Pony Camp Big Hoof. Cover B, number four. I have a customer who wants all the My Little Pony variants, so I do the best I can. And off to the lunar distribution box of course they are dc and image and uh some other some other folks i mostly get the dc some some image if i was a larger store i would love to carry some some more indie stuff as i used to when we were bigger i like to to give a wide variety but i can't do it when i'm on such a budget sadly okay we got the posters got your pack and slip invoice thing my jig uh i don't know i don't know what that is i don't know what these are posters image the bloody dozen uh what's this life house pete townsend's life house Huh. Is that just one-sided, one-sided poster? Pete Townsend poster. Wasn't expecting that one. And off we go into the box of comics. On top we have this. Rick and Morty the manga. 
which I'm told you read this way, but I don't know if that's true with Rick and Morty the manga. It's hard to tell which way it goes. Um, okay. There appears to be some kind of something poly bag. Looks like a bundle of something under there. We'll get to that in a second. Batman, Catwoman, Gotham War, Scorched Earth, Scor Scorched Earth, number one. The shocking conclusion to the Gotham War. Let's take a look inside since this is number one. But it is the conclusion to an arc, so I would think it would not be too horribly different. Eh, it probably is. Who knows? Here's the thing. What's in the world's going on here? Silver Sprocket. 2023 catalog. Okay, so that's just a catalog they've sent me. Because they're nice. Who is they? We'll give them a plug since they sent a thing. I guess it's Silver Sprocket. There's a website. Uh, more Batman Gotham Scorched Earth thing. And the bundle is... Unnatural Order Vault Comics. Why is there so many? What has happened? I don't know. I'm assuming they are... Uh, let's not assume anything. Let me try to figure out what it is. Well... There's a cover price on it. I hope they didn't think I say I ordered that because I most certainly didn't order 20 that many of. Oh, they're free. Woo, party on. All right. I got those for free. Batman. Gotham War. Scorched Earth number one. Cardstock variant. I will now prove to you it is cardstock with Tappy Tappy. Uh, tappy, tappy. all right good cover too great cover that one's got a spine ding so they're gonna need to be replacing that I can't be having that on a cardstock cover that's too much um there's another one of those in there maybe they already replaced it I do it again ah, tappy, tappy. all right uh aquaman and the Lost Kingdom special. Issue one. Probably a one shot. That's your art. In the Aquaman. What's it called? And the Lost Kingdom special. Looks pretty good, really. If you like Aquaman. Gotham by Gaslight. This is probably a facsimile edition. I would say this is a facsimile edition because that came out a long time ago. And here's a photo cover. Tappy, tappy. Tappy, tappy. Underwater. Um, ooh, wait, wait, you hit a page. It's the actual sound. Tappy, tappy. Okay, um, that's got a big old $8 cover price too, $7.99. And we just saw some art, but there's more art. Okay. Um, last stack of comics. It's pretty, pretty substantial looking stack though. Detective Comics. Number. They're hiding the number. I do not see the number. It is the new issue of Detective Comics. Certainly, I can find the number if I look hard enough. Again, I'm getting old. My eyes are going bad. But you'd think it would be written on here somewhere. I do not see a number for this issue of Detective Comics. Here is Return of Superman. This is a reprint trade paperback. It is cardstock. Um, that's the art. I believe that's, that definitely looks like the original 90 story anniversary special return of Superman 20th anniversary special. I looked at the Indica. Let's try that with this detective comics. 
nothing else. I'm tenacious. <clears throat> Well, okay, okay, where is it, where is it? Detective Comics, I still can't read it, it's too small. 1,075, haha, <laughs> figured it out, finally. It's a huge accomplishment, figuring out what a number of comic is. There's another one of those. Detective Comics number 1,075. Spirit World. I thought that was over. Spirit World number six. Supergirl special number one. I just got one copy. Here's your art inside. Looks to be multiple stories or I don't know. Flashback. So that's your art in Supergirl special number one. And here's a... Item. <clears throat> There's the artist name Kendrick Lim. Kendrick Kanuka Lim. That is Batman, Catwoman, Gotham War, Scorched, Scorched Earth number one. Extra shiny Catwoman variant cover. Tappy tappy. That's a beautiful cover. Cover price is $7.99, aka eight bucks. <clears throat> Bargain at any price. Supergirl special number one. Big shiny variant. With an $8.99 cover price. Let's give that a tappy tappy. That sounded kind of strange. Sorry about that. And uh, King Spawn, number 27. Uh, I don't know. It seems like we just got King Spawn in like last week. And I don't know. Oh, and here's something we definitely want here at the shop at the Arch Villain Comics. Last, certainly not least, of course, they are second printing, but that may be a good thing, right? Transformers number one. Two different variants for that. Second printing. And I underordered Transformers number one. <coughs> I ordered two copies. Jared got one. The other one was purchased immediately and uh, had several people come in asking for it. Sorry, my bad. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.